If you're the kind of gamer or PC user who cares about keeping your system lean, clean, and running smoothly, whether it's to reduce clutter, free up space, or maintain fast response times, then this tool could be a valuable part of your setup. Especially if you're working with limited storage or your system has started to feel sluggish over time, this might help you cut through the bloat and regain control. Today, I'll show you how to use BleachBit, a free, open-source cleaner designed to safely remove junk files, free up valuable disk space, and strip out the leftover clutter that can slow down your system. It is a reliable part of a smart maintenance routine. If you're focused on keeping your system responsive, lightweight, and optimized, this is definitely worth your attention. How does BleachBit help with performance? Let's be honest, clearing temp files won't magically double your FPS, but what it can do is free up storage space, which is essential for SSDs near capacity, which can slow down, reduce Windows bloat by clearing old logs, caches, and leftover junk from apps you no longer use, speed up system responsiveness in everyday tasks and in between game load screens, and when used properly with file shredding and free space wiping, it can also keep your system lean and protected from recovery-based threats. The goal here is not gimmicks, it's responsible, smart system hygiene. Getting started, installing BleachBit. To begin using BleachBit, you'll first need to download the application from the official website. Head over to bleachbit.org. This is the safest and most up-to-date source for the tool. Once on the site, you'll see download options tailored to different operating systems. BleachBit is available for Windows, Linux, and even older or legacy systems. For Windows users, there are typically two versions you can choose from. Installer version .exe. This is the standard setup file that installs BleachBit on your system like any other program. It integrates with your start menu and can create desktop shortcuts. Portable version. This version doesn't require installation. You simply download a zip file, extract it anywhere, like your desktop or a USB drive, and run bleachbit.exe directly. This is ideal for users who want to avoid installing new software or who prefer portable utilities. After downloading the portable version, extract the zip file using File Explorer or a tool like 7-Zip or WinRAR, Open the extracted folder, double-click bleachbit.exe to launch the program. In some cases, especially on fresh Windows installs, you might see an error like msvcr100.dll was not found. Don't worry, this simply means that your system is missing the Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 redistributable, which is required to run the program. To fix it, Download the Visual C++ 2010 redistributable, both x86 and x64 systems if you're on a 64-bit system, from Microsoft's official site. Install the redistributable packages. After installation, restart BleachBit and it should open normally. This extra step is common for lightweight portable applications that depend on older system libraries. What you can clean. Once you launch BleachBit for the first time, you'll be presented with a clean and straightforward interface. On the left-hand side of the window, you will find a categorized list of cleanup targets. These represent different areas of your system in installed applications where BleachBit can safely remove temporary or unnecessary files. Here's a breakdown of what you'll find and what each section does. 1. Deep Scan. This option targets system-level clutter that isn't always visible to standard cleanup tools. When enabled, it can remove thumbs.db, thumbnail database files used by Windows Explorer, .bak, backup files created by some applications, .tmp, and other leftover temp files, .ds underscore store, Mac OS metadata files sometimes appear on Windows drives used with Mac swap files, and residual crash dumps. This is a great way to clear out deeply buried junk files that accumulate over time and can bloat storage. 2. Web Browsers Firefox, Chrome, Edge, and Internet Explorer BleachBit provides individual cleaning profiles for major browsers, 
Within each browser section, you'll find options to remove cache, cookies, browsing and download history, stored form data, saved passwords, use caution, session data, and crash reports. You can pick and choose exactly which elements to clean. For example, you may want to clear cache and cookies, but keep your saved login info intact. Important! Avoid selecting Delete Saved Passwords unless you've backed them up or absolutely want them gone. BleachBit permanently deletes this data with no recovery option. This category includes general system-level cleanup options, such as clearing the clipboard, removing any copied data currently stored, deleting error logs and diagnostic reports, removing memory dumps from system crashes, cleaning the Windows temporary folder, deleting residual files from old Windows updates. Over time, these files can add up to several gigabytes of unnecessary disk usage, especially on older systems. 4. Windows Defender and File Explorer BleachBit can also clear leftover data from Windows utilities. Windows Defender deletes outdated virus scan logs and quarantine entries. Windows slash File Explorer removes recent file history, quick access jump lists, and thumbnail cache. These items may not consume huge amounts of space, but clearing them can help protect privacy, especially on shared or public PCs. Before you hit the Clean button, it's highly recommended to run a preview. This function allows you to simulate a cleanup session, showing what would be deleted without actually removing anything. It's a safe, risk-free way to double-check the impact of your selections. Here's what the preview mode reveals. Total space that will be freed up. BleachBit gives you an estimated total of how much disk space will be reclaimed, useful for identifying which cleanup actions have the biggest payoff. The exact list of files scheduled for deletion. You'll see file paths, types, and sometimes file sizes. This lets you confirm whether you're deleting the right files, especially if you're working on a shared PC or have important data stored in unusual locations. The number of files and system entries involved. BleachBit breaks down the operation into counts so you can see how many items will be removed under each category, whether it's thousands of temporary files, old browser cache entries, or logs. Shredding files in free space. Now let's talk security. If you're deleting sensitive files, like spreadsheets, work documents, source code, etc., just dragging them to the recycle bin isn't enough. Deleted files can still be recovered with tools like Recuva or forensic software, unless they're shredded. BleachBit includes multiple shredding tools. Shred Files securely deletes a file by overwriting its data with random bytes. Shred Folders wipes an entire directory and its contents. Shred Paths from Clipboard pasted a folder path, shred it instantly. Wipe Free Space overwrites unused disk space to destroy traces of previously deleted files. Even if you deleted files a year ago, remnants may still exist. Wipe free space can make those impossible to recover. You can find other deep system tweaks and FPS boosting tips in my optimization playlist, linked in the description. And if you want a clean, faster system with fewer background processes dragging down your games, this is a great place to start. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing for more real-world optimization content, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.